Hey, YouTubers. So, something important, something, something kind of damn important. So, uh, this is going to be for both YouTube and Instagram. So, uh, another pipe tobacco review. Uh, oh, yeah, baby, like the big ass pipe. So, uh, today we have this tobacco right here. Uh, we have. Uh, we have Peterson's Irish Flake. This is actually a re-review. I reviewed this tobacco back in, I believe, uh, 2012, so in also 2010. So this is actually my third review of this tobacco, this pipe tobacco for a pipe. So uh, this is actually what it looks like. So it is a very dark flake. Let's have a smell. One sec. Whoo! Very, very like almost alcoholic flavor, or it has like an alcoholic aroma. So uh, ha it smells like almost like brandy or like hard liquor. So uh, very uh, almost like a fig smell, like a prune like smell. Very nice, nice big ass pipe tobacco. Uh, anyway, so uh, in terms of the strength, the nicotine content. Uh, uh, now, the first time I smoked this, it knocked me on my, my ass. Uh, I was a beginner uh, pipe smoker. It absolutely knocked me on my ass. Uh, like for a better word, knocked me on my fucking ass. Uh, nowadays, not as bad. I can tolerate this pretty well. Uh, back in 2012, borderline. Nowadays, I can tolerate it just fine. I would say strength-wise, medium. If you are a new pipe smoker, it will knock you on your ass like the big ass pipe. Now, body, I would say the body is medium, medium to full. Definitely a good uh, amount of flavor there. Has kind of a earthy, uh, almost like alcohol-like flavor. So, uh, obviously it doesn't have alcohol in it, but it has like alcohol-like flavor. So, uh, the flavors, there's no flavors, no amurants, no additives. It's just pure tobacco. When I say flavorings, I'm talking about like cherry or rum apple or uh, chocolate, which is actually added flavorings, which you obviously can't buy in Massachusetts anymore because of the bullshit ban. So uh, the bullshit ban. Anyway, in terms of the room note, probably not very pleasant, not very appealing to non-smokers. I'd say tolerable, tolerable to strong. In terms of the retrohaling, I wouldn't retrohale this myself. It probably is gonna burn the hell out of my sinuses. I just not really a big fan of retrohaling it myself. And I don't think many people are in general because it would just burn the hell out of my sinuses and probably other people's sinuses in general. So I would in terms of the price point, I paid about 15 bucks for this, and prices are obviously all biased because every state varies. I mean, every state, and obviously this is purely my general opinion, my opinion like my asshole. This is purely my general opinion and my general recount of this tobacco. I'm not glorifying in any way, shape, or form for people to use tobacco products. I'm just saying this is my, this is my personal account and personal experience of this tobacco, this pipe tobacco. So, uh, anyway, for rating, I'd probably give it a 10, about a 7 out of 10 for rating. Uh, it's not bad. It's about average in my book. So, uh, pretty damn average. Uh, anyway, pretty fucking cool. Bye.